last year and a half, two years of, of, of being a SEAL, they sent me down to fucking uh, Great Lakes. I was all jacked up. My health was all messed up. I'm down in Great Lakes teaching these guys how to, you know, get them ready to be Navy or, or, or you know, go to Bud's. But the same amount of guys were quitting. And I didn't understand that until I got deep into the problem. And, you know, these guys were faster swimmers, better runners, better at everything than, than we were. But they were still quitting. And I got down to the root of the problem. We were building bigger, stronger, faster quitters. Why is that? I realized that, man, we weren't doing the one thing we had to do more than anything, which is develop the mind. We have to develop the mind. Like Marcus, he couldn't run for shit, man. And I'm not, it, it, but the thing that we, that, that, that we didn't do with Marcus and people like Marcus, we didn't crack these motherfuckers open. How, what makes a person like this get through that? It's, it's, it's not the running, it's not the swimming, it's not the Olympic ability. It's the human mind. Yeah. It's easy to give up. You know, Hell it's yeah. Easy. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. I ain't, man, I'm, I'm done. I ain't going. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah, the I don't man, feel like going to work. The I'm one, done. Yeah, man. It's easy. It's very easy. But what's hard is going, yo, yesterday I got nothing from working as hard as I could. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. That's the hardest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. To get up every day and give 100% and, and be in the same position that you were each day but mentally know that you're trying and trying and trying four weeks ago i was in the bathroom crying honestly sobbing with my girlfriend just like felt like a lot was getting to me with a lot of pressure felt like things were just kind of hard and tough and i wanted to just quit to be honest i felt like i lost a lot of faith in myself and it was getting really hard to just push through and i didn't quit obviously we're here today but this morning before well after prejudging I had that same cry in the bathroom, but this one was a cry of gratitude and pride that I had pushed through and gone through that. It's your journey, it's the experience, it's knowing that you pushed past times where you wanted to quit. And you got shit done, you pushed through it. So to everyone out there whose dreams are scaring you, who dreams make you want to quit, just don't quit, it's good. Your dreams should be big, they should be scary, just keep pushing through. I have this thing I say champion mentality. It's not about winning, it's not about a trophy, it's about having no quit about giving everything you have so that when you show up on game day before the results are over you're proud of yourself and you know the work you put in.